First up on the show, well, UK's 600-year-old parliament has got a modern makeover as the traditional debating chamber has been transformed into a video conferencing hub. Flat screen televisions now beam questions in a near-silent chamber where lawmakers once used to force their way into rowdy debates, often seen leaving their seats and walking away. The hybrid parliament model, which was launched last month, was allow has allowed parliament to function while maintaining social distancing rules. Officials were given just two weeks by the House of Commons Speaker Lindsay Hoyle to modernize a system that prides itself on maintaining tradition and has historically resisted technological changes. We've created a new way of managing business. We have published lists of speakers now, which we didn't used to have which are there because everyone needs to know when they're being queued in by the broadcast team. It's like, it's like a giant TV studio. And you have, rather than having your six guests on this morning, Good Morning Britain, you have maybe 60 all over the country. All of you need to be prepped and checked and then queued in. However, the future of the new system, which has been uh, billed as a temporary fix rather than a permanent step, remains in the balance. The tech team behind the system said that the new parliament is not a replacement of the old way of doing business. If, I think it's difficult at this point to judge whether or not there are some serious uh, issues with the way of doing business like this. There are clearly some advantages. It's allowed the chamber to sit. Um, but I think that members will be reflecting on whether or not this is sort of a sustainable way of wanting to do democracy. Um, and I think that everybody recognises this, that this is very much a needs-must situation. It is not ideal. Um, there are some shortcomings. There are some advantages, but there are definitely some shortcomings. And I think that uh, over the next few weeks, people will, will, will reflect on what we've done.